Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Coach O'Connor. Today we're talking more about catching, the position of catcher. So we covered the mental aspects of it. We covered the two positions, primary and secondary. And now I'm going to talk for just a couple of minutes on receiving and framing. So I always tell players your number one job as a catcher is to catch the ball. Number two, I tell them is blocking, which we'll cover in another video. And then number three is playing defense, throwing out runners, also in another video. But number one job of the catcher is to catch the ball. So we're going to talk about that. So the last video, the positioning video, I talked about starting with your forearm somewhere around your thigh or your knee. So your glove is low. Start with a low target. And it is close to your body. And that's so you have room to reach out. And here's why that's important. So to make a pitch look its best, the farther outside or inside the ball is, the farther out you need to reach out and get it before it travels even farther out. So you're starting close, then you reach out to catch inside and outside pitches. Now the best way to do that is to always catch the outside of the ball. So if it's coming on my glove side, I'm going from here out to here. And if it's coming on my throwing side, here to here. Always catch the outside of the ball. Always reach out and I tell them to stick it. Stick it with their glove. And that's so the ball doesn't move your glove out of the strike zone. You don't want to catch the ball and have it move because the umpire is probably going to look down and see where your glove is. And if he sees it here, he's going to call it a ball. But if that same pitch he sees here because you framed it nice right on the outside corner, then he's going to call it a strike. If it's up high, fingers down. Reach up and just put your fingers down and it's a quick little motion. If it's down low, try your very best to keep your fingers up. So you're going to stick it from here to here and just keep your fingers up if you can. Obviously, you need to get the ball first, so if you have to turn your glove over or block it if it's in the dirt, that's different. Because we only try to frame a close pitch. If it's over here, I don't try to grab it and bring it back because that's going to insult the umpire and you're probably not going to get any close calls the rest of the game. So coaches want to see how well you can receive and frame the ball. Here, 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 and if it's down the middle, boom, you just catch it right here and you don't need to move at all. So that's uh, quick and easy tips on how to receive the ball and frame the pitches so they look better and you'll score better at tryouts.